Good morning guys and welcome back to a new M Weekly. It's been a while since one has actually not been abroad because I've been abroad for maybe six plus weeks so they've all been travel vlogs but I'm back with a London based vlog. Now have a really sore throat because Matt Amen. He's not very well and he's given me his bug. I mean, it was only ma a matter of time before I got ill. I'm surprised at all of the flights and made me ill anyway. My new Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation. It's really nice. Yeah, it was gifted. Okay, so what was I gonna say? Yeah, I tidied my house from top to bottom. Literally went through every single cupboard, put the washes on. I feel like a domestic goddess. I'm feeling fantastic apart from the sore throat. So I'm just gonna quickly put some of this washing away and then I'm gonna get changed. And then I have a very exciting morning. I'm going to the Aldi Christmas Showcase. Like, I'm actually fangirling that I've been invited to this because their Instagram feed is goals and it's my first Christmas event. Yes, I know it's October, but honestly, I love Christmas. I'm sorry if that makes you guys nervous or scared, but I just love having a festive season to look forward to. So I'm very excited for my first slice of Christmas. February trenches out. I've just realized something looks weird on my face. Maybe it's that I don't have enough mascara on. I'm wearing this dress, which I love. I have arrived at Christmas. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Everyone is obsessed with face rollers. 1999, guys. No. Brown eyes. Oh, pink yeah. I love that. So for the rest of your face. Oh, wow. Like, um, Yes, yeah, so you can gift it for somebody, um, and it's 14.99. Oh, that's good, 14.99. Really yeah, good. and it's just beautiful inside, and it just means that from between Christmas Day and New Year's Eve. Oh, I think that's nice. Yeah, this is all insane. I need all of this for my house, guys. We're going into the food hall. Actually, my friend told me that the camembert at Aldi is really good. Excellent. Indeed it is, absolutely. Really great options this year. We've got the big centipede, which is that one. That's a vegan centipede. Oh, wow. A vegan centipede. Truffle cauliflower cheese. Vegan sausage rolls as well. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Huge sharing camembert. Just testing the cheese and the truffle one is insane. Seal of approval. Yes. Squeeze it and pamper. Comes at 99.99 and it basically features all the exclusive range products. Look at this packaging. How nice. Okay, well, it's basically made with like this laser technology, I believe it's called Glass Technology. Yeah. To get that effect on it. Gosh, they've got chocolate Brussels sprouts. I know, how cute are they? So this is 19.99. I thought it was a statue, but it's a kilo of actual chocolate. The little cookies that you saw in the handbag. Oh yeah, they're so beautiful. Oh, the hand decorated. They are, yeah, they are. Oh my goodness, hand decorated, hand finished. Look at these. Oh my god, are these mince pies? These are, these are mince pies. Hi. I actually can't believe this dessert's table. Oh my goodness. Guys, I'm back. I think that was the best morning of my life thus far. That was amazing. Oh my goodness, I love Christmas. And I'm so sorry if you guys are like, it's too soon. Candles, they had a huge candle for 19.99 and they said that you could burn it from the 1st of December until the end of December every day and it would still last. <laughs> um, the food was out of this world. We're talking as many pigs in blankets as you can imagine. The turkey was amazing because I tried it and it was really high quality and I'm like a big food snob. And Aldi just seemed to have upped their game so so well. Like up north, everyone loves Aldi anyway. But wow, that everything just feels so premium and genuinely tastes like such good quality. And trust me, because I tasted it. The cheese boards, everything. But the thing that struck me as so good this year is that they have so many vegan options, whether it's a nut roast, whether it's vegan sausage rolls i had my first vegan sausage roll it was so good i'm really 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 impressed right guys i feel like i've just had christmas dinner so i need to have a nap now I hmm. a nap. i've had work to do need to do work also need to wash my hair I realize it's very greasy i was just laughing to myself because i started this vlog telling you guys how i'd cleaned my whole house and then i realized how messy it looks but i currently live with two boys and honestly they just leave things everywhere nothing gets put in the bin Nothing is organized, it's just things out all the time. It's very annoying. Um, but what I meant when I said I spring cleaned is that I cleaned like all of my cupboards and stuff out. So yesterday I went for dinner with my friend Gabby. I'm sure you guys know Gab's pretty well if you watch my vlogs because she's usually
actually on all of my vlogs and I didn't vlog yesterday but we were talking about dating because she's kind of like family and every time my brother sees her he's like come on Gabs are you dating anyone and I love taking control of her dating apps doing the swiping for her talking to people for her it's hilarious and I also low-key want her to you know find the love of her life so we were talking about it and she was saying yesterday that she's given up with dating apps because she's just sick of them and then we got talking about an app who actually got in touch with me the other day called JigTalk. And when I told her, I'm going to show you guys this. Um, when I told her about JigTalk, she actually said she's already heard about it on the grapevine. And she said it's something that she thinks she's going to set up. So I've taken the liberty, after having her permission, of setting her an account up. Because I know that a lot of you guys are dating. And I thought it would be a really cool brand to partner with and tell you guys about. Because one thing I really don't like about dating apps is that it's based purely on looks. So I say this to Gabby all the time, I'm like, Gabby, why are you swiping no for him? He could be the love of your life. Just because you don't like his beard or whatever. But I've never been someone that's been on dating apps really. I think I had like a month period where I went on dating apps and you literally just swipe based on looks. And all of my boyfriends I've met and I've really liked their aura or their energy or their personality. Obviously I've fancied them as well, but that kind of just came after meeting them. And I'm a big believer in just old school traditional talk, but it's hard to meet people nowadays. So jig talk is basically epic and it kind of gets away from all of that. Let me get the app up and then I can show you what I mean. I just love the ethos behind the app because it's all about not judging someone based on a picture and a person is always more than just a picture and I love that, I really stand for that and it was actually Gabs that said to me when I told her about the app Jig Talk, she was like, yeah, she was like, I've heard about it. Particularly for people who are sick of the traditional dating apps and actually want to have conversations again. I fall in love with people's personalities and like the conversation. I also think it's a bit more fun, the fact that you're covered with a jigsaw puzzle and then it kind of makes you want to start a conversation because you're like, I want to get rid of this jigsaw puzzle to see what you look Here's like. Here's the app and Gabs has let me set her a profile up. So the idea is it's all about being yourself not your selfie I love that so the more you talk the pieces go away and I just think that is so good because you never know someone could surprise you you shouldn't ever judge people based on looks and I think it's important that we just talk so yeah guys I just thought I would tell you about this because firstly I love the ethos secondly I know a lot of you guys are dating thirdly a lot of my friends are dating so I'm making them all get profiles on there so I will leave the link down below to download it's free and it's apparently the new in dating app people are obsessed with it because people actually want real conversation rather than just like hookups they just actually want to find nice super relationships rather than superficial okay no you don't look good enough relationships so yeah i'm really into that and if i was single which i'm not i would definitely be using that so i'm now going to do some more work i think i have a workout later although my throat's still not the best um but i need to do some work for now also this is what happens when you go away look at my garden how is this a thing? I am embarrassed and appalled. And yeah, it needs to stop raining so I can go and do something about this. Get my green things out. Hello guys from a post gym M. It's like torrential rain outside. We have some very stormy weather. My friend just dragged me to try an F45 class, which is really good because the last few hours have been quite stressful work-wise and I feel so much better after it. So I just popped to Sainsbury's, did a big shot because I'm gonna mix some fajitas. See, good vibes, good food, good people, good workout. Nothing is spoiling my mood. <laughs> Got my ugly face on, hair is up, she means business. Let's go. Let's bake. Mm -hmm. Dinner is <gasps> served. Yum. So I'm tell the camera your thoughts about the chocolates. <laughs> so Aldi gave us a goodie bag after the event today, and inside it they had their winter desserts. Matt's already opened them. One, two, three, four, five, five, five. <laughs> and they are actually really 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 good hello guys the day is thursday i'm heading to soho farmhouse today on a gifted press trip with nush which is an amazing well actually i'm gonna hang on and tell you when i'm there you can wait and see so i've just been for a workout as you can tell i'm quite nasal not feeling 100 percent bit of a sore throat that has made me ill um just curl my hair it's gonna be weird but i'm about to jump in a cab head over to hammersmith because we are getting a car there from hammersmith i think it's maybe two hours away you're not actually meant to film there but i'll try film what i can because i think we have an amazing few days lined up so let's go jumper dresses are out this 
this is my house for the night. Oh, it smells so nice, doesn't it? So nice. Oh, we have little treats. So I'm in my room. So they pick you up from the front with like a little golf, golf? No, it's like a little milk buggy. And then today I'm staying in this cute little piglet hut all by myself, which is so nice and so cozy and very autumnal. And as I said, we are here on a gifted press trip with Nush. So I'm going to show you. We actually had a little bus journey here, two hours from London, and they gave us a little picnic in the car with Nush to like dunk into our chips. And it was so, so, so good. I love a picnic. So let me show you what's in the room. Here's our little itinerary. Arrive at the farmhouse, show to your piglet rooms. We're then going to have a cycle around the farm and then free time and get ready to relax for dinner then have private cocktail making amazing and then we have dinner um also amazing dm hope you enjoy the nush retreat to celebrate the launch of our new flavor in marks and spencers which you can find in your mini fridge bar let's go find it mini fridge but mini bar here we are oh my gosh they gave me so much wow so it's basically dairy free almond milk yogurts i actually love the cheese which i'll show you in a minute dairy free look at this Oh my gosh, and you can get this in Marks and Spencers from today, which is why we're here. Dairy-free almond milk, yogurt, raspberry. Oh my goodness. Okay, guys, this is insane. Dunk crisps into it. And the chilli one on Jacob's Crackers is out of this world. Wow. Your girl has been spoiled. Yeah, and it's dairy-free, which is just insane. Little tote bag, which is very cute. Livia's Nuggets, which honestly I'm obsessed with. This is the nicest goodie bag ever. Urban fruit. Ooh, a little milk pill mask. I did actually bring my own mask, but I'm now going to use this tonight. And Patchology Downtime Eye Gels. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh, this is what we dunked into the chips. Not into the chips. These are chips that we dunked in the car. So good. I got a little drink. Oh my god, look at these slippers from Bow Avenue. What else? Neon Perfect Night Sleep Collection. Oh my god, I didn't even need to bring anything. We have pyjamas from Bow Avenue as well. Um, oh, and then some Purology hair. Oh my gosh, so I could actually even do a hair mask. Absolutely pampered. And then this is my little hut. How nice is this? And I think next stop we are going to go on a little bike ride. It's my dress. And then, oh my god, these are the best dressing gowns ever. And then this is the shower. Oh my gosh, a shower. It's like bigger than a London flat. <laughs> okay, so there's a little van going past. I'm just gonna wait for the other girls and then we're gonna go on a bike ride. I always find the cookie jar. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> bikes are out. Oh, abort mission. Oh, made it back with a coat over my head. Very trench. Raining, England. Love it. No drama, guys. Who cares about the weather outside? I'm just gonna sit with my fresh cookie in here and stay warm. It's really calming watching the rain outside when I'm sat here. Three cookies down and it's time to go wearing the dress that I have literally worn every day this week because it's so comfortable, it doesn't smell. <laughs> and um, it's so nice. I actually need to put some deodorant on. I went on a trip to um, Barcelona with Elizabeth Arden and they actually gifted me this in my room, Mitchum, and it's a really good, um, deodorant I didn't want to shower before dinner so I'm going to shower after dinner so I can moisturize and I also put some tan on earlier so I'm letting that develop so I'm nice and tanned in the morning hopefully just put a Huda Beauty eyeshadow on that was gifted to me and yeah I'm gonna head out for some no I'm going to do a cocktail making mask first first with Nush and then dinner look at this dinner setup this is Insane. Guys, this is the menu. Nush almond milk hummus. Insane. Oh my gosh, Nush cheese dips. Yeah. And everything's been made with Nush. Nush almond and lemon aioli. This is insane. Guys, this is the chive dip by Nush. And it's insane. Seriously, I'm gonna dunk my bread in it. Are these veggies being passed around? Hello. Oh, look at this. Courgette salad. Lucky for me. And potatoes. My goodness. Let's look at the menu. What is this? We have raspberry shortcake with coconut cream and nush raspberry yogurt, which is a new one. And then nush vanilla cheesecake with winter berries. Excuse my husky voice. So, good morning. As you can tell, I'm in Struggle City a bit. I'm wearing this shirt, which I love. Kept it from one of my hauls, which you may have seen last last week. No, the week before. Love it. Love the colour. Very autumn winter. So, dinner last night was out of this world. They made the whole menu using nush, basically. So, everything had an element of it. 
basically spent the whole night having my sourdough and dipping it in to the chive spread which is amazing so it's basically made from almond milk and it's a dairy free brand and it's really good and it's now stocked in Marks and Spencers I've seen it in Whole Foods as well but the new raspberry flavour has launched in Marks and Spencers and that's what we're here to celebrate as I said this isn't sponsored hate that I have to justify this and say that um, but it is just a gifted press trip oh my god in the desserts last night we had a raspberry cheesecake made using Nush their raspberry yoghurt and then we had a uh, raspberry shortbread shortbread no shortcake which was so nice also using Nush so I might have to try create that at home I've just put a new shot to be lipstick on and my hair's feeling a bit scraggy here's some of the skincare I brought with me this is a new Boreal CC that was gifted to me at an event earlier this week and I popped that on first SPF 25 popped it on as like a little primer but you can wear it by itself it's just a CC cream I've been using the Drunk Elephant products because I always use them when travelling my vitamin C cat spellers with Arden to give myself like a nice chewy glow and put myself some vitamin C in my skin. I've got the whole Neutrogena range with me, the Hydro Boost, because it's just fantastic. Again, I gifted it at, a, gifted it at an event this week. I had a little cleanse with this. Elizabeth Arden popped this in my bedroom when I went to Barcelona with them. But yeah, I'm feeling funky fresh apart from the throat. <laughs> Let's see. And a pumpkin patch. So breakfast is amazing. So full up, so yummy. And now we're heading to do a yoga class, a restorative, calming yoga class. I'm so excited to do some yoga, although I'm so full right now. I am back from Soho Farmhouse. Such a nice trip with Nush. Thank you for having me, guys. I'm now all cozied up, but legs out because always dressing inappropriately. No, it's still like actually 16 degrees. It's not that cold, and I want to be nice and cozy. Um, and also, I find jeans a bit restrictive. So I'm going to a food festival today. Oh, let me just clear my screen. So last night we went out for some drinks with some friends for a friend's birthday, didn't vlog it because didn't really want to vlog a night out. Then I went to a blaze class this morning and wow, I'm tired. So now we're heading over to a food festival. You may have seen me talk about it on Instagram. So the food festival, I was doing some work with them on Instagram, but just to let you know the vlog part is not sponsored. I'm just vlogging my day. It's mine and Matt's four year anniversary weekend. So of course we've done a workout, now we're going to a food festival, then we have a special dinner tonight. So ready to go eat? I need the food after that workout, right? Let's go. Yes to the lobster roll. Ah, yeah. My goodness, you nearly dropped it. This looks so good. A bow bun. Boston Red Sox have actually seen play. Guys, we got a churro hot dog. Look at that. What's your favorite thing to do on a weekend? Eat. That's the right answer. And we're on like our, I don't know how many courses. How many courses did we manage at the food festival? We did at least six, I reckon. We are good. We some always, we, we double up on as well. We're good at pacing ourselves because we share. And then you can have double the amount of food and try double the amount of things. But actually, if anything, we didn't share like the bad ones. We had one each, and the lobster roll we had one each. Yeah. We did share the chiver though, and we've actually been defeated. Because it's like five o'clock now, and we have dinner too. It was good. One course too many, I mean. One course too many. Push me over the edge. So, it's a few hours later, spent my afternoon sat here napping. Literally, just been napping away. Now we have dinner at an amazing restaurant that Matt's actually never been to, but Matt chose that we're gonna go here tonight. I'm very excited. When it was his birthday, I was so tempted to change a reservation and end up taking him here, but it's fine because we're going here anyway now. It's like a really nice Roman restaurant in Knightsbridge, and it's just super cute and really romantic, and they do the best pasta. I wanna pronounce it Caco de Pepe. I had it in Toronto and it's amazing. I know I still sound a bit husky. Um, I'm wearing this with these booties. Guys, this is it. 
Look how cute it is. It's got roses outside. I love this play. I told you it's different. Gino. I know. That was a big gap of Gino, right? It's so pretty. All lit up. Guys, we found a fox on a walk home. Oh, from there, both of keep it out. Oh my gosh. Hello. Press the screen. Step out a second. Tap the screen. Step out. Oh, look at you yawning. Step out. Me. Hello. Oh my god, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. So oh. I'm now. I'm the Guys, I've got a face mask on that was kind of gifted to me by Aura Gems. It's a refining mud mask. I've got a hair mask on that was gifted to me by Pureology. The boys are in the background talking about cars. And I've just had oh my breakfast yogurt with some manuka honey. And I've just been to an F45 class that my friend invited us to go to with her. So I'm just having a little pamper, then I'm going for some brunch. Oh, and last night's dinner was Amazing, yeah, this is the weirdest, scariest mud mask, but hopefully it's gonna do what it says and refine my skin. Let's go get myself sorted for the day. Here's my Uber driver today. <laughs> Five star rating. Five star all the way. Yeah, you're gonna get left here. <laughs> Basically guys, Uber was on a massive surge and we couldn't even get one, so we're in the ad, ad Uber. <laughs> Uber, ad, no, it doesn't work. Shuba, we're in the Shuba. Shelly Uber. Shelly Uber. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, face mask off, face is feeling better, I'm with this one. Hello. Matt's doing some work, so we have come for brunch, we'll meet my friend who I live with in Canada and then Leeds, but first we're gonna go to Dalesford because we need, we've got an hour wait for brunch, well less than an hour now. So we're gonna go and get some snacks from Dalesford first, and then I'm gonna buy Matt some coffee as a little anniversary present because he's a bit of a coffee snob. I just took us a really <laughs> long way to walk around. Crossings guys, safety first. So yeah, we're gonna go to Dalesford first because I feel like they might have some autumnal things in as well. Basically, I'm just gonna buy loads of nice food. And that's so good. Guys, look at this bread. How insane. The marinara is the guacamole and the chipotle sour cream. Amazing, thank you so much. Favourite waffles! Look at us. I'm back now. I'm incredibly full after eating my body weight in nachos and waffles and it was amazing. Pharmacy in Notting Hill is one of my favourite, favourite places and I bought some snacks. Then I got to see my friend just for like five minutes from Canada, a different friend to the friend that I went for brunch with. Um, he happened to be in London for two days and I might hopefully be going for lunch with him tomorrow. It's just a flying visit today that I got to see him and it was so good, I didn't even vlog so I was like, I don't even have time, I'm so excited. So that's put a big smile on my face. So I'm just gonna quickly show Matt the things I bought him from Dalesford and then I'm gonna do some work. What's in the Dalesford bag? Oh my God, look what I got. I got focaccia. Look at that focaccia. Absolutely. Greasy. Oh, it must be from the grease must have come from this. That's not good, is it? Will they be okay? Yeah, I got you two organic yeah, coffee beans. Organic. I got you two. And Starbucks one last night. Will it be good coffee? Mm -hmm. Um they're like healthy peanut butter cups. That's actually for me, but technically you can share. Porridge. I eat some olives so you can snack on them. You can snack on some bread and olives. Right guys, we are heading around to my friend's house for some fajitas tonight. We cancelled our dinner reservation, so we can't really be bothered going out. So we're gonna do that another time. I'm on TV tonight and I'm actually shaking a bit about it on channel five at 9 p.m. Not that this is any relevance because when this goes live it, live, it will be on Catch Up, which I'll link below if it's a good documentary. Um, but I got a private jet a while ago to Abu Dhabi. There's going to be a full video on my channel about it really soon. In fact, it might be live the Sunday after this video. I'll let you guys know. And I'm nervous, so we're going to go have heaps at her house. She's kindly cooked for us, and then we're going to come back and watch my um, TV debut. Well, it's not my debut because I did the John Frieda ad, but you know, it's like an actual proper program rather than an advert. <gasps> Poppy! Auntie and Uncle are here. 
Look at this feast that Georgie's whipped up for us. Say hey Georgie, she's on the vlog. And look, we're having the nush. No you don't, almond milk cheese. Hello. How excited are you about this? Georgie just said that she ate the whole pot as well. The whole pot. It's so blooming good. Go Not yeah. enough wraps here. Look at that. Wow. You're so flat, cheeky, so. man. Say thank you. <laughs> All around. Off you go. Wow, the hostess with the most ass. The brownies are out. Oh, look at Poppy running after him. I'm a blogger and a blogger talk about fashion, travel, beauty, life. People like to see things that are kind of unattainable. So I think people are going to want to see what it's like to be on one of the most luxurious jets in the world. To keep her fans happy, she's taking them on board this apartment in the sky, giving them a glimpse into the world of the super rich. I'm really even just stepping onto the plane and being greeted and it's so personalised, it's incredible. Hey guys, it's Monday, so we had such nice fajitas last night and sorry for all the screaming, but it was really weird to see myself on TV. You'll see my vlog about that really soon with more info, but yeah, something we filmed ages ago, it was top secret and I wasn't allowed to tell anyone, but I've had such good feedback, so thank you everyone that sent me nice messages on Instagram. Um, yeah, how cool. Okay, I'm heading for lunch now with my Canadian friend who's here for a few days. I'm actually so excited to see him. Guys, he's in busy talking too much luck. He's here. And all I want to say is like I'm documenting this moment on my board for me because I've realized watching my vlogs I've had some great moments. Yeah. And I can always go back to them so my Canadian bestie, like I'm actually Hi, so happy. But to his voice, he's so sad. <laughs> and also I love this song. Sandro. Oh my god, I love Sandra. Yeah. We've basically just been making plans, so we're going to see each other in New York next, and we both have the same final life plan. It's Greenwich Village, yeah. which is really cute, you know? You live in the top of the world in the second floor, it's perfect. Yeah, we could be neighbours. So basically, we were just saying how nice it is to have a friend that just was just not matter. I'm very lucky. <laughs> Bye, guys! That was so lovely, literally so special to see him. I feel so, so, so happy. I just want to surround myself with good people and good moments, and I'm literally like a ray of beaming light after seeing him. We just had the best memories, and I'm just so happy. Okay, so I'm going to quickly tidy my house. I'm going to do lots and lots of work, and then I have a dinner tonight at Annabelle's, so I will quickly take you there with me as well. It's like an amazing private members club, and the brand I've been invited with is phenomenal, and I'm feeling very pinchy that I've been invited with them, so I'm so excited. So I'll take you along to that. Look at this bathroom, guys. So insane. This cake looks so good. Wow. Hey guys, I'm back from dinner. Oh my gosh, that cake was bigger than my head, literally. So big. Wow, I just need so much. I'm really, really tired and I feel like I've had a real cold coming and going all week. So I'm going to get myself into bed because I just didn't sleep at all last night. And then I'm going to start this vlog freshly from tomorrow. So yay, the M weeklies are back. Sorry this was such a long one and such a mismatch. I mean, it's been a crazy week. Thank you so, so, so much. And also, thank you to everyone that messaged me to say they watched the TV show. Thank you to everyone that messaged me to say that they missed my vlog last week. But I'm back. Big love, guys. Come say hi on Instagram.